Jack's supposed to do? He has the buff. He has the buff. It's like uh, it's like Pikachu versus Mewtwo in the, the first Pokemon <laughs> movie. Like Mewtwo's got all the clone Pokemon rooting for him. How how the hell is Ash gonna beat him? But have the power of tears and friendship and love that really. And maybe the power of tears and friendship and love are gonna power Calvar to beating the power of Bounty Swords. Well, we gotta see. You know what the rare tag sounds for? Uh, oh, oh, wait a second, hold up! Power no. of friendship! Oh, not quite there yet. And Aklo, with a pretty solid reversal. I would say Aklo, in this tournament specifically that I've seen, like, he's been really strong off with the reversal. He has another chance right here. Yes. Ooh, okay, Calvar on the board, you hear them roaring for their boy! You really like Calvar right now? Playing pretty grounded. Only arrow he's throwing out is Nair, which is great. You know, Aklo is a, he's good enough that he will really punish if he goes for any Nair at low percent, right? Yeah. Love that. He's not fishing hard either. And the up smash sends Calvar to the heavens. Aklo on the board. <laughs> I would have F smashed that in Axel's spots. Yep. No jump, no jump still. Oh, wow. Runs right past Aklo and reads the jump out of shield. Looking like a collegiate melee. You know, every college PR Marth, like, there, there's always one that does the run past shield F smash, and then yep. it's like, that's that person. And NYU is the semicolon, because there was a far <laughs> semicolon to that. Can we get a trade here? No. Oh. But 164, you know, one Nair, one down tilt. But at the same time, this is like a percent where uh, nothing's gonna really combo. That was such good STI on Aqua's part twice. It, it was Aqua back in the day who made the uh, the Twitter post on how to get out of uh, Marth Nair at high percent. Still in the blood. Yeah, that's gonna take the stock. And Calvary's gonna be really happy that he's getting hooking Fox out of that percentage. Now he's at a combo weight, a combo percent. But he's dashing back a lot. Dashing back a lot, and Aklo is mean to it, doing a bunch of overshoots and getting all over Calvar's face right here. It's not gonna kill yet. It's a little bit off. Calvar is holding onto ledge for his dear life. I like this. He's kind of changing the pace a little bit. Oh. oh yeah. I, I don't blame him for going for it, and I also don't blame Aklo for being prepared for it. Calvar really swinging a lot here. I mean... Do you think he's a swingy Marth in this matchup? Because you've played him a bunch of Fox. I have played Calvar a good amount. I do think he swings. But... Calvary's more of a grabber technique. Come on, right here is a, you gotta, you gotta oh, hold up. It. You gotta do this. You send him in the air. Wait a second. He's back to the ledge. I think that Aqua doesn't know. He might be the big dog in a, back at home, but the New England Calvar is the big dog, and he is not afraid. I'm surprised though. Cal Calvar, like I said, he's a more of a tech chaser than, oh. Hold up. Dude, looking like Ken right here with all these side Bs. That's it. I mean, last stock, game one. How, all he needs is a grab. How many foxes he has slain on New England soil? His first game. Oh. Back on the board. Yep. Calvar shaking his head, looking a little downtrodden, because he knows that a couple of neutral interactions going the other way, and that could have been his game. That's why I want to know that Calvar probably... Calvar, many people might think his Marth, he might go FD. Calvar, not really much of an FD Marth. He really likes... Calvar's favorite stage to play is actually Fountain. You think he's going Fountain? There's a high chance. He also probably doesn't want to deal with the Link on FD. That makes sense. I mean, he historically doesn't really like mid tiers, so that makes sense. You can tell he's thinking. Because he, he knows he can do it, right? Because all of Calvar's really? biggest hits are taking down spaces on New England soil. Yep. And what is that little bit another one? Ready to be slain. Uh, ready yep. to be slain. Calvar actually did a, uh, he checked his statistic. Uh, you can check your simply VODs. Whenever he is in a game five situation and they go to found the dream, he has won a huge majority of those games. This is his most clutch stage, so if you're gonna take a game off of an Aklo, this is gonna be one of the stages when he's to do it. Makes perfect sense. If it's your comfort home, it's your comfort pick and it's your home, why not go there? 
Well, that was amazing DI on Agro's part. He, like, DI'd all the way out on the off air to get away from any potential follow-up on Kalmar's part. This DI is phenomenal. Like, it seems that every time Kalmar hits an aerial, he's just out of there. That was so, that was so invincible. Great shot on the shield on Akros Porn and the fence hit him up! Doesn't really get too much off of it. Now Calvar's in the driver's seat. How much can he get off of this? Honestly, a rare Calvar up there on the percent He's right. still converting. He was yeah. ready for the top platform. And again with that angle, Akko has been so precise hitting those perfect angles every single time. This is child's play for Akko. I mean, how many times has Uncle Punch doing those exact, exact coordinates on a stick? His notches are perfect. He actually hates notches. I mean, he is not notched at all. Not back, not actually. He thinks it should be Smash, smash. Oh. Go for a grab. Kalmar trying so hard to kill this fox to the brink of death, but Aglo is holding on for his dear life. 182% and takes the stock. Did he get the kill? Oh, what a tech! That was a 225%! This is found in the dreams! He's lived three lifetimes! Back in, yeah, okay, there we go. Finish it. Finish that it fox lived to 250%. That is double extra credit. Calvars is looking completely floored right here. I do like the ground to play though from Calvar. Yeah, like it's it's very good like being able to poke, but it seems like Aklo is just able to get the bigger hit faster. Dash that covering Aklo, dash back, and all of a sudden, oh, never mind. Aklo gets back to play. I feel like the mix up is recovering. Aklo like baiting and back to play, and uh, side being back in Calvar's face. No. Oh, no! That's not how you want this set to end right there. I don't even know why I went down there. That's so brutal. He's... He wants to know if he's okay with staying on Fox on He's uh, going stadium? Is a coward not much of an FE Fox? I mean, you're... if you don't like the stage, it makes sense. It's just... I don't know, I feel like if you're in 2024, you're playing Mars, you gotta be going FD. Yeah. And like, honestly, I feel like if you just go back to Fallon, you're not gonna go FD. Yeah, like you said, it's his counter pick. Or it's, it's his comfort pick, too. I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely biased. I love the stage against Mars. Makes sense. I mean, back in the day, in like, what, 20, 2017, 2016 era, Fox was counterpicked the stage. This was considered a good stage for Fox. Yep. I think it's because of P PPU was the one who really, uh, him and SNA put on stage Oh! Fox. Just a raw charge up smash saying, you're not going to neutral be on my stage. <laughs> Yeah, um, like you were saying, you just want to look at the other one is uh, the lack of transformations. Yep. Where I feel like the boxes are... Is this teabagging? It's a halo? It's kind of brave to teabag your opponent while you're 2-0 and it sucks. That's what he did. This is where you really, like, dig deep, take a deep breath. Get that first grab and make it all come back, Calvar. I really hope Calvar is not thinking about losing right now. Right? You, you still have a chance to win this one right here. I think Calvar's still in it. You know, he's he's looking poised. Doesn't look disappointed at all. He's got that first stop. Imagine if Aglo just side beat off the stage. It was like I could take you with that last talk. I don't need a second. You should give him one. Give him I'll one. I'll be balling. Give him one, Aglo. But he's not giving it. Uh, he's not giving Calvar anything. Oh, what a beautiful conversion. Shine back or two for extra credit. Oh! Ooh. 
Ooh. Did a shot. Did a chance. You said you wanted Aqua to give him one. Here he is. Cowboy, this is your opportunity. You can take a game. Just get that grab all of a sudden. This is it. This is exactly how the Cowboy... No. Yes. Oh. Unfortunate for Calvar and for New England. Slain yet again by New York City. Yeah, but Calvar does have another chance in losers. He can make the, the grind back up. Oh, for sure. Definitely doable. Like, Calvar has already gone through so many tough opponents, and he is very used to making very deep losers runs, especially at the locals when he was, like, first seed, and he would go to losers and then win local from losers. From losers like, yeah. He definitely has this experience. Calvar's definitely pr not a stranger to 